Okay, so in this video we want to find the pH of a buffer solution that's 0.2 molar and 0.1 molar in its respective stuff. So first of all what we have to do here is we want to draw up two different chemical uh, equations. So let's, let's look at this one first here. Uh, we're going to have, um, here let's write that here, NaCH, there we go, 3COO. And we're going to be mixing this as wa uh, with water, but or we could just say this is aqueous, doesn't really matter. Um, here, let's go like that. Aqueous. Oh, I can't write today. Um, and now this is going to go through a to uh, complete dissociation here because of the sodium. So basically the sodium is just going to float away. We're going to get Na plus plus CH3COO minus. Okay, cool. And something, you know, let's just label this a little bit here. We know that we had 0 0.1 molar to begin with. So we can just write that here, 0 0.1 molar. And this is all one-to-one -one relationships. So uh, when we're all said and done with, we'll have 0 0.1 moles of everything here. Well, I guess not that, just these guys. Um, okay, cool. So now let's look at the, the next chemical equation here is we're going to have basically CH3 what's going on with this one? CH3COOH. Now this is plus H2O or if we can just want to skip that step we can uh, uh, actually okay fine let's write it in plus H2O. We could have wrote this plus H2O and there would be H2O here and they would just cancel out because they're all spectators but um, this one uh, is a weak acid so it's only going to go undergo partial dissociation and basically again this will um, donate this one little hydrogen here over like that so we're gonna get um, H3O plus plus uh, CH3 that is a 3 COO minus okay cool so this one because it's partial dissociation we are gonna need to have an ice table so let's go ahead and uh, let's do that we have I, C, E, remember initial change and equilibrium concentrations. So we know that we started with um, 0 0.2 moles. So we can write that here, 0 0.2 molar. Uh, this started with 0, this started with 0, and H2O is a pure liquid, so we don't want to look at that. All right. So our change here, we don't know what our change is going to be, but we know that these are all one-to-one -one relationships, so this will be minus x, this will be plus x, and this will be plus x, right? All in the same uh, amount. So we can say here that, well, this will be 0 0.2 minus x, um, that's all molar, and this will be x molar, and this will be x molar, right? These are the equilibrium concentrations. Okay. So now what we can do again is we know that Ka, this is acetic acid, so it's pretty well known that Ka of acetic acid is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. And this is equal to the concentration of the products, which is H3O plus um, times CH. 3COO minus, and this is all divided by concentration of the reactants. Water doesn't count because it's a liquid, pure liquid, and so we get uh, the concentration of CH3COOH. There we go. Okay, cool. So now what we want to do is we want to fill this table in, or fill this equation in, I guess. Um, so the concentration of H3O plus is going to be X. Now the concentration of CH3COO uh, here one, one thing we have to consider is um, at equilibrium we're looking at two different things here we have CH3COO minus here and here right so what we want to do is want to group these together because these are both happening in the you know in the same beaker so we can't ignore we can't ignore the fact that there's 0 0.1 moles of it, uh, or moles per liter floating around up here. So how we do that is just add them together, and we have, um, I guess these could be curvy brackets. This will be times uh, 0 
plus x plus x. Wow, my writing is getting really messy. Okay, anyways, and then on the bottom here, we had 0 0.2 minus x. So just like that, 0 0.2 minus x. All right, and now something we talked about in an earlier video is we're looking at a seriously lower um, order of magnitude here. This is uh, something times 10 to the negative 5. We're adding basically something on that order to uh, something to the power of negative 1. So what we can do is we can pretty much say that in this case that 0 0.1 uh, plus x is pretty close to just 0 0.1. And same goes for 0 0.2 minus x. It's really close to 0 0.2. So what we can do is we can just simplify this uh, for our purposes to say that this is basically the same as x times, well, this would be 0 0.1 over, well, 0 0.2. Right, it's going to be really close and uh, probably just get knocked out in the sig digs anyways. So what we can do now is uh, basically this is just 0 0.1x over 0 0.2 is equal to 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. If we want, we can write that. We can say, um, well, we can say that x is going to be equal to, well, if we just rearrange this, it would be 0 0.2 times 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 all over 0 0.1. 0 0.1. All right, so if we just go and multiply through with our calculator, we'll find that. Um, x is going to be equal to 3.6 there you go um, 3.6 times 10 to the negative 5 10 to the negative 5 alright so that's what our x value is and what our x value here if we substitute back our x 3.6 times 10 to the negative 5 back into here we'll see that that's actually our uh, equilibrium concentration of H3O plus and what we have to know about pH is that pH, here let's write it up here, um, let's use a different color, pH is equal to the negative log of our concentration, <laughs> here we go, of H3O plus. So um, what we want to do now is just then, well we want to find our pH, right? So pH is equal to negative log of here, uh, I guess we can just, you know, put this in uh, as, you know, like that. Negative uh, 3.6 times 10 to the negative 5. And anyways, if you do that negative log of this, uh, we're going to get that our pH, here our pH is equal to 4.4 um, for our buffer solution.